What's going on everyone? The first ever JD plushie drop is finally here. Click the link down below jdmerchshop.com to get your bundle today. Each order comes with both plushies. We worked really hard on this and we're really excited to let you guys finally get them for yourselves. Me and Joanne are gonna be hand packaging every single order. As you can see, we got a bunch of the plushies right here. All of them are in our studio right here and we're gonna just package every single order as they come in and send them out. So you know that every order was hand packaged by Joven and me. Woo! Woo! Joven's behind the camera. Okay. He's the cameraman. Each order will come with both plushies. You'll get the Thex plushie and you'll get the DD plushie. Also, in each order, there'll be a signed letter from Joven and me thanking you for the order. Also, a secret video that only the people that buy the plushies will be able to see. And a JD bumper sticker that's waterproof. You can put it on your computer that you play Roblox on, your iPad, or wherever you really want. It'll just come a part of the package as well, so you guys can get yourself a sticker also. The last thing I want to show you guys is you can take off the accessories and swap them around. So the DD plushie obviously comes with the iconic visor. It has a Velcro at the back so you can like open it and close it you can put it on yourself if you really want you know you can have the visor kind of fire honestly you know i look kind of funny without it but if that's how you like it then you could do that also with joven we'll do the eye reveal you know we never get to see joven's eyes you can take off the goggles wow. boom that's how his eyes this is joven's actual hair so we've actually plucked it off of joven's head and put it onto here just kidding, it's not his hair, but you can comb it like real hair. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make it messy, you can style it. style it, exactly. You can also put the visor onto him as well, kind of mix and match as well. And then my favorite, my favorite mix and match, to be honest. Yeah, I like this one. This one's top, top tier. Boom. <laughs> minion. Kind of like I'm looking like a minion, <laughs> honestly. It's a DD minion if you'd like. Again, all of this will be included in the bundle and there's a very limited amount. And if you really, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting them. So if you want one, go click the link down below. Make sure you guys get your hands on it because they will sell out fast. As an add-on to your order, if you feel like, or if you just want to get this, we are releasing our first meme sticker pack, okay? And these are a bunch of things that we've took a long time to think about and we are officially launching this pack. So you can buy this bundle here. You got the W trade. You got godly please chat bubbles you got the anti-teamer sticker no teaming i heart bacon hairs and then this one is a diy where you can put your own spin on what you don't want in mm2 or whatever you want so this little bundle you can get as an add-on to your order or you can buy it just the stickers itself i think it's really awesome as well dude my favorite is the godly please chat bubbles. dude yeah i'll put this on my car dude yeah. it's gonna be awesome yeah you can put them on your devices or whatever you guys want Hi. Hey. All right, guys, today we're going to be making some MM2 items in real life. You guys have to stay tuned to the end of the video because we're going to be making some really cool things you might want to see. The first item we're going to be starting off with is the MM2 ice cream cone. Dude, I'm really excited for this. Yeah, one. me too. I'm, I call I called trying it first. It's, it's going to be really delicious. Let's get into it. So we're going to need the ice cream. Where's the ice cream? We got a big tub of Neapolitan, which is honestly genius. So the MM2 ice cream has chocolate and strawberry. So yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do with the vanilla, but we're just gonna have to scoop around it. So there's the ice cream. Boom. What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need ice cream cones. Ice cream cones. Wow. Boom. I think we just broke all of them. <laughs> no. I hope one's... not. Okay, let me inspect the ice cream cones before the ice cream. Are they broken? <laughs> one is. That's okay, that's okay. We have a lot to choose from. <laughs> yeah. You guys are gonna have to give us a score of how good we replicated yes. the MM2 items versus the real life ones. Exactly. Okay. okay. So uh, in Murder Misery 2, is it the strawberry first or is it the chocolate? The chocolate first. A few moments later. All right, after doing some research, <laughs> we figured out that it's not even strawberry at all. <laughs> and it's not even chocolate first. Yes, so in the picture you can see right here, it's actually vanilla first. Well, if you look closely, and when we read the description on the wiki, it says popular flavors yeah. vanilla and chocolate. Used so. on a waffle cone, which we did get correct. Yes, it we do. an ice cream waffle cone. Yes, so we're trying to keep it accurate. Luckily, yes. we got saved. There is vanilla in here as well. Dude, imagine if we just got strawberry and chocolate. That would have been, dude, you that called this. You so called it to get this one. So we're going to use the vanilla and the chocolate only, and we're going to try to make this ice cream. Dude, I want strawberry. Though. I know, strawberry tastes amazing. <laughs> Okay, so the hard part here, I think, is going to be getting the perfect scoop. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I I, I don't know if I can replicate that, man. Good luck, dude. You got to try. Okay. Dude, why is the vanilla like the skinniest part? You got to go right in the middle. Oh, it's, it's really soft. It's really that's soft. Good, that's good. That's good. Oh, Joven. Is it working? <laughs> no, this is... It doesn't have that switch. 
Still in it, broke it. <laughs> Jovan is not an ice cream scooper. I'll tell you that much. Oh, oh, oh. We gotta okay. use the finger. You gotta use the finger. We can recover. We can recover. Okay. It honestly, honestly only is a little bit on there. Cute. It's so cute. So you need to get a good chocolate one. A good chocolate one? You yeah. gotta get a good chocolate. Like a bit. Oh, I like curve it. I didn't like, give it enough time. Giving... Okay, okay. Okay, we're gonna see. You're gonna try after and see if you can. Okay, make, make a better one? Okay, yeah, okay. Make a better one. Okay, I'm gonna have to use my finger. That's fine. Ooh. Pat it, pat it. Do like the with the scooper, like okay. make it a ball. Okay, what do you guys think? So there's the picture, there's the cone. Did we do good? I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try, but I don't know if I'll do any better. But I think Joba <laughs> did really good. I think I do a taste test. Yeah, let's see. Is the MM2 ice cream mm, busted? You gotta eat both busted. flavors. You gotta eat both oh, flavors. Right. MM2 ice cream hits. Mm. It has to hit. Yo, this is good. I wish it had strawberry, but that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's well, still that's fire. fire. I tried to make one, and mine is not that much better. I think we're around the same. I think Jones is better. But I really simply just made it so I can also eat one. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Low key. Uh, but you know, give us a score down below. I think it's pretty accurate. We got the the flavors. Look at Jones, it's already done. I know. I'm MM2 hungry. ice cream is busting, bro. Make yourself one at home. It's a vanilla scoop, a chocolate scoop, and a waffle cone. It hits, dude. On to the next one. The next Murder Mystery 2 item that we're gonna make in real life is the Firefly Jar. So this one is obviously the one that you open up and the fireflies go flying. This one's kind of easy, so hopefully we get a good score on it. Uh, this is how it looks. So first thing we're gonna need is the actual jar. So it looks like a mason jar. So we got a pack of mason jars here. We already opened this up for to make it easier. And here's the jar. So that's pretty much the first step, right? That looks pretty close. I think we did decent with that. The next thing we're gonna need is some fireflies. <laughs> All right, so we have our jar, we have our fireflies. These are Nerf balls. We thought this would be like the closest thing to a firefly. So uh, we open the jar up and, uh, oh, it has the seal. So, okay, so I guess that has to just go together like that. Okay, and then you have your jar. So we're gonna take all of these and pretty much just put them in. This one's pretty easy. Oh God. Oh no. <laughs> oh God, okay. So I think once we get all of these in here, that, wow. looks, that looks pretty close. Yeah, how do we make them fly? Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> so, so pretty much the lid is on. Okay, but this is gonna come off with it. I'm just gonna pretend like it's like this. <laughs> then there's a lid, yep. Yeah, so there's a lid. And then I'm pretty sure when you do the animation, you like go like this yeah, you and they fly out. Yeah. So it's like, what, like, <laughs> you like, go like this? I don't know how to do it. They're not gonna like really go out properly. Okay, that's close, right? Yeah, that's close. Kind of close, kind of like fireflies. But I think it looked really good when the balls were in there. It looked pretty good, pretty close to the firefly. I don't know, what are we supposed to do? Get real fireflies? They don't even One look thing. like real fireflies. They look like yellow. I know, things. they're just like yellow, just like dots. I think we did good. Let us know what your rating was for that one. I think that was all right. For our next Murder Mystery 2 item in real life, we will be making the iconic, and I'm personally really excited for this, one. The GG sign. This is how it looks somewhere on the screen. <laughs> the GG sign is an iconic item in Murder Mystery 2. You whip that out every time you hit a nasty shot or nasty murder win, and we want to make that in real life. So we're going to start right now. This might take a while. I'm not entirely sure, but also keep in mind, we only are using the items that we got from our local store. So we know we have to just be creative here. We're going to make the stick out of rulers. Also, by us doing it this way, maybe you guys at home can also make your own. You know, we're kind of going with the flow, so maybe, you know, we'll see how it works out. Hopefully it turns out good. Let's see, uh, I guess the first we gotta do, right here what we have is a printed G from the GG sign zoomed in, and we're gonna use that to make it look as close as we can to the real sign. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut out the sign out of this cardboard box. All right, so we cut out the cardboard part. Uh, I'm actually gonna trim this a little bit, and then we're gonna tape on uh, these two blank pieces of paper onto here to create obviously the white sign. Uh, something like that. We're gonna cut off the excess, tape this white part on, and then we're gonna work on the GG. Uh, there's also the boo sign, but we were Ooh. thinking that maybe we'll save that one for the next episode of this variation. If you guys are enjoying, by the way, if you are enjoying, make sure to subscribe. Also, leave a like on the video. If you guys are enjoying, don't forget to use our code JD when you're buying Roblo Roblox or Roblox Premium. And of course, the plushies. <laughs> JDMerchShop.com. Yeah. So we taped on the white paper and now we're gonna use this cutter. You guys obviously can use scissors. But we just wanna make it more accurate and faster by just going like this. Watch your hand. Oh, it doesn't look good. What do you mean? Oh. See, we thought we were slick. Didn't turn out that way. Let me see. That was looking so far. It's not bad. It's kind of like, 
Listen, it's a DIY sign. What can you do? Exactly. Okay, so we officially have our sign. You know, it's not perfect, but this is gonna be our white sign. And then we're gonna attach the sticks to this. We're also gonna get the letters on right now, which is gonna be these right here, these GG signs. The printer doesn't make it as dark as it should be because on the game, on the actual sign, it's way darker than like a printer. It's just straight up black. So we're gonna just use the marker to fill this in. Uh, yeah, oh, that's working really well. Yeah, that works really well. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we made the GGs a lot darker now with the markers. They look really good. Now we just got to cut it out and then we're going to put it onto the sign and we're almost done. Woo! All right, so we cut them out and we got the GG sign put together. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, boop, GG. Now we're just going to make the handle and we'll be done. So now we are cutting cardboard to wrap around the ruler to make it look more dark because the handle is actually dark in the game. And we don't want to see the measurements <laughs> on the stick. True, we should also take these stickers off. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Okay, so we taped two rulers together and now we're going to tape it onto the back of the sign. Uh, just like this. This one is taking a lot longer than I thought. I honestly didn't know that this was going to be so yeah, long. this art screen craft stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's really going on. But, you know, it's obviously a way quicker version for you guys. You guys are just seeing the little progress updates. But this is kind of taking a decent amount of time. All right. Pretend I just shot you. I embarrassed you, Murder Mystery. <laughs> 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 GG. That's it, guys. What do you think? This is our final GG sign. Oh, there's a piece of tape. It looks pretty good. Obviously, we had to use a lot more tape just to make it extra sturdy. This is GG sign. What do you guys think? You guys know how the normal one looks. This is ours. I think this is our best one yet. Yeah, I do have to agree. It's yeah. so shiny to look awesome. laminate, dude. Yeah, it's laminated with tape, and we're going to use this in other videos, too. I think we could definitely use this in the future for streams as well. I think it's really awesome. All right, guys, for our next MM2 item in real life, we're going to do the teddy bear. You know, mm -hmm. we all love the teddy bear. Come yeah. On. So we got our very <laughs> own teddy bear. Yeah. We're going to have to do some modifications. You see, this hat doesn't come off. Yeah. But we got, we, we got, we got utensils. Scissors. We got scissors. Yeah. So this is a challenge. This was the only bear we had in our local store. So yes. we're going to have to make this work. His mouth matches how, like, the light mm -hmm. part on the mouth. Yes. But I don't think he has the belly oh. that lights up. But, oh, yo, that's light. But it's okay. We're going to have to make it work. We might lose some points, but we're definitely going to have to take off that hat. We're going to have to do some stuff. Okay, good luck. Guys. Okay, take the tag off. Okay, okay, yeah, this first. Tag first. Anything else? This, oh, this thing at the back, maybe. There is. Oh, thank you. Boom. The shirt. Okay, the shirt. We don't yeah. have to cut the shirt, right? Yeah. No, we, we can just keep this intact. Yeah, because the MM2 guy does not have any shirt or anything. Just a normal. Whoa, teddy how did bear. they fit this on his just big one. head? There we go. All right, so we're almost there. This one's relatively easy. Yeah, this one's pretty quick. But now this might be the hard part. I hope there's hair under here. No, I don't think there will you be. Don't think he might have hair? a hole in his head, but we're going to have to find out. We can't have a hat. Should I, I chop off the top first? Yeah, let's, let's top, top it off slowly. Okay. The MM2 bear does not have a hat, so... We're opening up. Let me see what's in there. We're going to check what's inside. It's like a white, like... Oh, it's white. Cotton. Well... It looks like a bump when, like, you bump your head. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little... little okay. Little stay down, bear. Stay down. It won't hurt. Don't move. This is more. sad. Don't I feel like this is more. weird. Okay. So we got a spread. Dude, I feel like a surgeon. Dude, you are. Okay, so we're gonna have to cut around very slowly. I don't wanna uh -huh. cut a lot of the hair. All right, so you gotta do that. Oh, honestly? It's going good. It's going pretty good. We don't have a sewing kit, but look at the bear, guys. This After some modifications, there's the MM2 bear. That's that bear. What do we think? Dude, that's pretty close. Minus the light colored on the belly. Yeah, we, we don't, don't really have want, that. Yeah, we don't want to cut his belly. It probably won't end up good. So we'll, we'll just take that score. Let us know what you think our score is. Is it close? I think it's decent. It's pretty close. It's pretty it's decent. It's not bad. Okay, there we go. That's the MM2 teddy bear in real life, or at least our version of it. <laughs> All right, for our next MM2 item in real life, we have actually a knife. Yes, we can't do this type of video without mm -hmm. an actual Murder Mystery 2 knife. Yeah. Yeah, if that was missing, that would just feel weird. But don't worry, guys. We have a beautiful blue candy. What the? <laughs> Yo! I got murdered. Yo, what the? Dude, okay, let's just... <laughs> Bye, bear. Okay, so this is the knife in... It's backwards. It's backwards. Show the thing. Boom, there we go. There's the knife in real life. Yeah. And then that... Or in MM2. In MM2 and this yeah. is the real life one. Yeah, so this is a trophy. Yes. A trophy knife. And who, who 3D printed this? Shout this out? Roblox City. Thank you, Roblox City. Oh, yes. Also then, his birthday today. As the day we're filming it. Yeah, so he's our fan that 3D printed this for us. Uh, it's really awesome. It's the candy 
like Jovan said, the trophy. So the, usually the candy is red. This is a yep. blue version of it. And it's the most accurate MM2 knife in real life. Dude, it is, dude. It's literally perfect. It's so light too. Yeah, it's really cool. Dude, we gotta get our 3D printer to do Yeah, we gotta get this. some more. We'll definitely do some more, but we, we couldn't do this video without the real knife yet. And there it is. That one is a 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, what do you guys rate this? Compare. I think it's 10 out of 10. Bro. I do agree. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's literally perfect. It literally, dude. Our next MM2 item in real life is going to be the chocolate milk toy. We already did this in our video called Roblox Foods in Real Life, but we decided to do it again because it's one of my favorites. It's really awesome. It is one of the toys. We're not going to do the pizza slice because that's more of like an actual food. So that one is going to be in the Roblox Food in Real Life video. Go check that out. But we will recreate the chocolate milk because we think that one's really awesome. So we're going to do it again and let's just do it really quick. This was really easy to make. That's why we're gonna do it right now. He just wants some chocolate milk. I think I just want chocolate milk, low key, for real. Very simple. Almond milk, because we don't drink cow milk. Yeah, that's gross. I mean, I used to drink it all the time, but I don't anymore. Spoon, chocolate syrup, same straw as the last time. Our store hasn't changed, okay? Yeah. They have the only- the Nobody makes plastic straws. Yeah, yeah, anymore. save the turtles, but we yes. did find one and it is red, so yes. this is close enough. So. Do you put the milk in first? Technically you do. I so. believe so. But I we, we learned from last time, we don't put as much because you need a lot of chocolate syrup, a disgusting amount. Yeah. You actually shouldn't drink it with as much, realistically. That's a lot of sugar. But it's the only way to get the color correct. So yeah, you might think this is a lot, but it's kind of how much we really need. Oh, I didn't it's see literally it. just thick chocolate. Okay, here we go. All right, relative. See, this one's pretty easy. Like we said, last step, Boom. put the straw. Taste test. It doesn't do the bend. I really don't want to. It's gonna be it's literally a little bit, just, just sugar. Little bit. Yeah. Uh, so there it is. Give us a rating. We already got a rating in the other video, but do it again for this one because this is one of our favorites. You know, you pull it out, hit the shot, pull out the sign. <laughs> no trick shot. It's a trick the shot. The trick shot. Yo. Hit the 360. Drink it. Oh, that's sugary. No. That's pretty good. Yeah, low key though. Okay, it's really good. It's really good. Obviously, it's just straight sugar. So, Murder Mystery 2 Chocolate Milk, taste busting. What does it look? Does it look accurate? Let us know in the comments. And now, we're moving on to our last one. Do you want to do it or do you want to do it? It's really quick. You do, you do it. Really we're quick and easy. Get the blood from our bear that we just pried open. So, first thing. <laughs> so, for our next one, you might be thinking, what, what is all this? Do? What are we gonna do with all this stuffing? I feel bad, bro. Let's not. Okay. We got extra. We okay. we didn't actually need to use this. We have our own. If you guys can guess, comment down below before you figure out. What, what are we making, making right now? What are we making? What are we making? It's Canada, so we do get snow here, but it's not snowing right now. Yeah, so we decided to. Here. Yeah, not right now. It's really warm, so we don't have snow. So we decided to make a cotton ball snowball. The snowball toy. Snowball toy in Murder Misery 2. You guys all know and love that one. You can throw it. Let me just make sure it's not gonna fall yeah, apart. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, you get your snowball, you see someone, <laughs> and you throw it. Oh! And it works. So that one I, I think like is pretty accurate. I mean, how much more could you make a snowball? Maybe it could be a little bit more squeezed together. But hey, snowballs are not perfect. They're just like that. So give us a rating, snowball toy and snowball toy in real life. I think it's pretty good, honestly. Yo, honestly, it's very close. One step, really easy. Just some cotton and it ended up working out. Okay, guys, that is all of our toys in real life. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. And again, uh, we did this special video as a promo for our plushies. Uh, go get one if you haven't yet. Uh, limited supply. Thank you guys so much for the support. We love you. And thank you for anyone that did get a plushie. And if you didn't, that's okay. We still just appreciate you guys watching. Maybe you'll get a sticker pack or just leave a like. That helps us out too. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye from me. Bye from me. And don't forget to use star code JD. Link down below, jdmerchop.com. And yeah, wow. see you tomorrow. Bye.